In this video, what we're going to be looking at is continuing on from calculating the product moment correlation coefficient in the previous video. I want to highlight some key differences with notation from what you find in the formula booklet. You could be given um, the information to find the value of R by just giving you the values of the SXY, SXX and SYY. But at this point you should be asking, well, what is SXX and SYY? Because previously this was the formula that we were working with. R equals SXY, well that appears to be the same thing, the covariance. But then we had SX and SY, not SXX and SYY. Now, these represented the standard deviation. The standard deviation of the X values, the standard deviation of the Y values. SXX represents the variance of the X values, and SYY is the variance of the Y values. And so, this value, square rooted, would be this value. Okay, so the formula that you're given in the formula booklet on page 13 says that R is SXY over the square root of SXX times the square root of SYY. So, if I'm going to work with the calculation here, R is going to be 3.2 over the square root of 141.61 times by the square root of 0 0.09. And if you throw all of that into your calculator, 3.2 over the square root of 141.16, uh, 61, sorry, times by the square root of 0 0.09, and you get 0 0.896 to three decimal places. So strong positive correlation okay, between these values, between the x and the y. So this is how we do it. It's just a notation thing, so make sure you're aware of these differences.